Hello students, welcome to Solacer's classes. In this video, I will be solving the following question from ISS 2017, paper 3. Paper 3. Now, I have already solved this first part of this question. That is, I have written briefly on the sample size determination. You can check our website and our YouTube channel for that video. Now, the next is, we will start here with cumulative total method for PPSWR sampling. Where this PPSWR stands for probability proportional to size proportional to size and with replacement with replacement sampling so we have to uh, write briefly on the cumulative total method for probability proportional to size and with replacement sampling now in selection of a sample with varying probabilities in selection of a sample with varying probabilities the procedure is to first associate associate with each unit each unit a set of consecutive natural numbers so associate with each unit a set of consecutive natural number and the size of the set being proportional to the desired probability so the size of the the size of the set being proportional to the desired probability to the desired probability probability now if x1 x2 so on till x capital n so if x1 x2 so on till x capital n are the positive integers are the positive integers that are proportional to the probabilities assigned to the n units in the population probability assigned to the n units in the population so if x1 x2 so on till xn are the positive integers that are proportional to the probabilities assigned to the n units in the population population then a possible way to associate the cumulative total of units so a possible way is to associate the cumulative totals to the unit so a possible way is to associate the cumulative totals cumulative total of the units and then the units are selected based on the value of the cumulative table so then the units are selected based on the value of cumulative total cumulative total so so let us have the following 
illustration let us let us show the following illustration suppose the units so they are from 1 2 so on till i minus 1 then i then so on till capital n so they are the units now the size which is the random variable x size that are assigned to them so size is x1 x2 so on till xi minus 1 then xi then so on till xn now the cumulative t1 is equals to x1 t2 is equals to x1 plus x2 so on t i minus 1 this is equals to summation j goes from 1 to i minus 1 xj similarly ti is equals to summation j goes from 1 to this i j goes from 1 to i xj so on till tn this is equals to summation i goes j goes from this j goes from 1 to capital n x j so we get the corresponding cumulatives now what we would do is we would select a random number r we would select a random number a random number r between 1 2 capital T n so we select a random number r between 1 to capital T n then this is done by using the random number table now if this r if this r is less than equals to t i and greater than equals to t i minus 1 then ith unit ith unit is selected selected with probability with probability of x i divided by capital T n where i it goes from 1 to so on till capital n so if this r it lies between it is greater than or equal to ti minus 1 and less than ti then the ith unit is selected with probability x i divided by T n where i goes from 1 to capital n so with this way we will get the sample of psi small n that is by repeating this process n times now in this case the probability pi so in this case we can say that the probability of selection of ith unit probability of selection of ith unit that is pi it is equals to ti minus ti minus 1 divided by t divided by tn so ti minus ti minus 1 divided by tn it is the probability that the there is a selection of ith unit so this is equals to xi divided by capital tn so from here we can say that this pi it is directly proportional to xi as this tn is constant since this tn is constant therefore we can say that pi is directly proportional to xi hence xi's other random variables that are directly proportional to pi's as given in our question now next is rao hartley cochrane scheme this scheme is used or this procedure is for the probability proportional to size without replacement sampling that is p p s w o r sampling so this is for probability proportional to size without replacement sampling p p s w o r in short now what we have to do here is that we have to divide a population so we have to divide so we will divide 
the populations a population of n units of capital n units into small n groups so we are dividing the entire population of size capital n into small n number of groups into small n number of groups with group g with group g containing n g units where our g would go from 1 to so on till n such that this n1 plus n2 plus so on till nn this is equals to capital n so we are dividing this entire population into n groups such that group g that is gth group contains ng units where this g goes from 1 to small n and the summation of summation g equals to 1 to n n g this is equals to capital n now what we will do is that we will select one unit independently from each group we would select one unit independently independently from each group from each group so we are selecting one unit independently from each group then since there are n groups and we are selecting one sample or one unit from each group then that overall sample that is the overall number of units selected would be n so at the end n number of units would be selected so this will give a total of n units selected in a sample with probability proportional to size without replacement that is probability proportional to size without replacement now probability of probability of selecting ui in the sample in the sample in gth group is that is probability of sele selecting ui in the sample in gth group is this is pi is equals to xi divided by xg so this is equals to xi which is equals to xi by x divided by xg by x now xi by x is equals to pi and this xg by x it is equals to summation i goes from 1 to ng pi so this is equals to pi by p g so here this pi is equals to small pi by p g where this x g this is equals to summation i goes from 1 to n g x i so this x g is equals to summation i goes from 1 to n g x i where these x i's they are auxiliary variables they are auxiliary variables and this p g is the sum of initial probabilities in the gth group it is the sum of sum of initial probabilities probabilities in gth group
So the probability of selecting UI in the sample in Gth group is equals to PI. It is equals to PI by PG where this PG is the sum of initial probabilities in the Gth group. So the probability of selecting UI in the sample in Gth group is equals to PI by PG. So this is the Rao Hartley Cochrane sampling scheme. So this is the Rao Hartley Cochrane sampling scheme.